Hey everyone, Cody here. Today I'm going to try to make a similar painting to one that I did with gloss enamel. The painting is called Fire and Ice. I think I've shown it in other videos. It's a red, all it is is red and blue. Um, it's a red and blue abstract and I made it with a squeegee. Sorry for that slight interruption. Um, anyway, I uh, made it with red and blue gloss enamel. If you look it up, I mean, I have the product somewhere. But anyway, I made it with red and blue gloss enamel and just a rubber squeegee. One of these, actually. And so I wondered if I could make a similar painting with acrylic. And so here we are. So honestly, I, I actually like that painting. It's one of one of my favorite ones. I'd say top ten. Um, and all I did was I kept just adding blue paint, then red paint, blue paint, red paint, and I just kept kind of making these little crosses as I went. And so here we are. Uh, you know, about two years later, and we're gonna try to make the well, not the same painting, but a similar one. So we'll put a little dab of blue here, here, and. Well, let's start there. So like I said, I really just started it by making these little kind of crosses. Um, well, this is making more of a little square, I suppose. But no, it's, it's kind of pulled out to a cross. And so I did that. And I did that. That was a little bit. Now, when I did this, it was actually hot outside, so my paintings dried pretty fast. I don't know how that's going to equate in here because it's not hot in here, um, even though it is getting closer to summer. So I'm just going to kind of go over it a bunch of times, and by pulling the paint over and over again, my hope is that I can get it to dry faster which it's starting to do down here. So let's see if we can get it to dry up here. Really just pull it out. And I think we're, I think we're making a difference. So I'll go ahead and wipe that off. I'll just put that there for now. And then we'll go ahead and add red. <coughs> so I'm going to put red pretty much in all the areas where the blue isn't. And I suppose I don't need that much red, but of course I used more than I wanted. So we'll just kind of go with it. I really should have moved that there, but oh well. So we'll go ahead and add our red. And we're just going to do the same thing. And we're going to pull it down into that area where there's nothing. Pull it out. Pull it up. Really just trying to get these like... Um, I don't know, I, I guess crosses, but they're also kind of straight. So these, these patches, I guess, is probably the best way to think about it. So we're gonna pull that out this way, and then we're gonna start pulling that down. Pull that that way. We'll go ahead and cover the, the white parts. So we're going to just kind of work this in real quick. And I actually pulled some of this blue that was up here. But that's okay because that's actually going to bleed into that uh, that paint up there. So that's that's okay. So we'll go ahead and we're, we're just going to now use any of the paint that we have around the painting to really just kind of fill it in. So it's, it actually mixed a little bit down here, which is okay because it's going to add to that, uh, that look. So we'll just kind of pull it out, pull it up, pull it up, pull it out. And it's kind of cool because 
it's actually pulling some of that that color up which is fine because it actually pulls some of the other one into it so it's not just a static like a static uh, color you know what I mean like they're blending so it's it pulls them to together kind of um, and that's it I mean honestly I think that I'm, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop while I'm ahead because I actually kind of like it and I know that if I keep messing with it I will ruin it because that's what happens to all my paintings although there's a little white spot up here so I'm just trying to knock that out yeah that actually actually turned out pretty good uh, so I'm just gonna pull that Kind of give it some character so it's not just stark blue but that's it uh i think i'm actually gonna leave it alone because uh, it turned out kind of cool actually better than i expected so i'm gonna pull the paint or the tape so you can see what this painting looks like and there actually is a little bit of a white spot right there so i'm just gonna throw that in and there's a little bit of a a blue spot right there so I'm just gonna kind of layer it fill in any of the little gaps where the canvas is coming through or the paper I should say sorry and I think we're good a little bit but that's okay once that's framed you won't see that so that's okay and that is it my friends I uh, I'm actually impressed with it I, I think it's kind of cool and uh, I would actually keep it I think these colors work well because they're just, they're kind of like, it's fire and ice. I mean, that's, or at least that's what my first one was called. Um, so it's a very simple painting, but it's very vibrant. So I'm going to go ahead and show it to you guys so you can see it up close. This is the final painting. I know the light's not very good. I apologize. I <laughs> just wish I could do more. Here, maybe I'll pull it over. So there's not so much glare. Maybe that helps a little bit. So there it is, guys. I'm just kind of give you like a little close-up although I don't know if that makes it any better but overall that is the final painting just blue and red rubber squeegee super simple painting I know that the light just doesn't do it any justice in here and I don't know if, if I make it brighter if that helps or not but I don't think it does anyway um that's it guys I really hope that you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in another one take care